The flat burr niche is finally here. Let me introduce you to the niche duo. Niche revolutionized the home coffee and espresso world with the Indiegogo release of the Niche Zero in 2017. The grinder changed the game for home baristas and was met with an almost unmatched positive reception. But then Niche didn't release a single other product for almost six years, even though people were practically begging for a flat burr version of the Niche. I'm really excited to share this review with you and I don't mind saying up front that I feel like Niche has done something really wonderful with this grinder, with a couple caveats. But before we get started, a quick disclaimer. Niche did send me this grinder, which is a pre-production model of the Duo, as well as two production models. I had an opportunity to get feedback on the grinder after using it and Niche did contract me to create a couple videos for their team for the Duo. Things like cleaning it, zeroing it, that sort of thing. And if you end up buying the Duo, you'll probably end up watching one of these videos. Now, I think it's really important that you know that, but I think it's also really important that you know I take my reviews on this channel very seriously. Niche hasn't seen this video, it is in no way sponsored by them, and it is completely outside of any agreement that I have with them. My responsibility on this channel is to you, and you've absolutely flooded my DMs since the duo was released, so of course I'm going to make a review on it. And I can promise you that these are my full and honest thoughts on this grinder, okay? Let's get on with it. Now, like the Niche Zero, the Niche Duo is a single dosing grinder, meaning you grind up one serving of coffee with it. But unlike the Niche Zero, which is a conical burr grinder, the Niche Duo has these absolutely massive 83 millimeter flat burrs. In fact, and I can't think of any other grinder that ships like this, the Duo ships with two different burr sets, one for filter and one for espresso. My first impressions of the Niche Duo were that, well, my first impressions, to be honest, were that the Niche Duo looks and works almost exactly like the Niche Zero. Everything that has made the Zero a winner over its lifespan has also been brought in on the Duo. In fact, the Niche Duo looks so much like the Niche Zero that if you're thinking about upgrading from the Zero to the Duo and you're maybe a little nervous about some skepticism from your partner, I need to tell you that I actually swapped out the zero on my counter for the duo and my wife Sarah, she didn't even notice. The duo comes in at 799 pounds sterling and it only ships from Niche in the UK. It's got a brand new motor in it for the Niche line which spins the burrs at 530 RPM and the two burrs that it ships with for espresso and filter, they're both Mazer burrs. So one is a 151B for espresso and the other one is a 151F. Now these are great burrs used in grinders that are many times the price of the duo. But the question that we really need to answer here is does this grinder deliver on its promise? And I think to do that, we should make some coffee. So let's start with espresso and then we'll move to filter. I've got a couple coffees here that I'm very familiar with, so let's start with those. The first one is from Pilot Coffee and the second one is gonna be from Corvus Coffee Roasters. So for espresso, I'm gonna weigh out 18 grams of beans. That's how I like to dose my espresso. Gonna pop it in here. I've got it dialed in. All right, so that's actually zero retention. I got out exactly what I put in, so that's great. All right, let's go make this. All right, so that pulled great. Let's see how it tastes here. Mmm. Okay, that is a really good shot of espresso. I can taste, it's got that sweetness and body, but it is very clear. Like I can get all the layers of flavor. I think I'm just gonna drink this whole shot. Mm, that is really good. Let's change over to filter and I'll show you the process of changing the burrs in more detail in a few minutes. But for right now, let's do some movie magic and make ourselves a pour over. All right, here we go. I'm gonna weigh out 16 grams. So we'll grind that up, and I do want to show you how fast this grinds. Again, I've got right out exactly what I put into it. 
All right, let's see how we did. Oh, that is really good. Very bright, clear, crisp flavors. Oh, that is a perfect pour over. Okay, so this was a bit shocking for me when I first used this, how good it did on both ends of the spectrum. Because what normally happens when you go to review a grinder is it does one end of the spectrum really well and the other end, either filter or espresso, it kind of ends up being a little bit mediocre. Any kind of all around grinder compromises somewhere. To get a grinder that does both exceptionally well is extremely rare and especially at the price that the Duo comes in at. Now, coffee aside, the experience of using the Duo is absolutely fantastic. The Niche Zero was a runaway success for a reason and what really won people over with it was its workflow. It was fun, it was easy to use, it was approachable and all of that has been brought forward on the Duo, except with these giant flat bursts. Retention, which is coffee retained inside the grinder after you're finished grinding, is exceptionally low with the Duo. And you saw that when I was grinding, basically whatever you put in comes out the other end. Niche has always gone for zero retention with their grinders, and I've been really impressed as I've tested the Duo how it meets that standard. In fact, I ran a lot of coffee through the Duo, and then I went to clean it, and there was just over a gram left inside. On its face, the Duo is a really, really great grinder, both technically and in terms of day-to-day -day use. And considering the runaway success that Niche had with the Zero, I'm not really surprised. The Duo captures a certain magic, the same magic that the Zero did. Everyone says you just like using it. You wake up excited to use it. It's fun. You like having it on your bar. It's friendly. It's approachable. All of that is in this package too. But that begs the question, where are you going to find issue with this grinder? Now, I've been a little divided on this. Probably the most divisive choice that Niche has made with the Duo is shipping it with two burrs, which forces you to change burrs when you're going from filter to espresso. Now, changing the burrs is fast. In fact, I can do a demo for you right here. All you do is get your other burr set, open the grinder, take the hopper off, take your burrs out. Nisha always says use gloves, so make sure you do that. I'm just working for speed here. Take this nut out, take your bottom burr out, give it a little clean, put your other burr back in, put this bolt back in, put your burr back in, and put the top back on. It really doesn't take a lot of time, but it's also nowhere near as fast as just turning that bean hopper to adjust the grind on the Zero. So there's a little bit of an inconvenience there, but as I've been putting this review together, I haven't even really been able to decide if that's actually a fault, and here's why. The quality that you get on this grinder, on both the espresso and the filter, is like really good and it's better than you're gonna get out of any all-around burr. Is it slightly less convenient than the Zero? Sure, but if you want the convenience of the Zero, just buy the Niche Zero. Grinders with an all-around burr generally tend to make a compromise somewhere, at least until you get several times the price. And the Duo is all about not compromising. I've also had some of my Coffee Geek friends ask me if you can swap out the burrs to say an SSP or something. It's a Mazur burr. Do the math. If you really want to, you can take it out and put something else in. Of course, Niche is not going to recommend doing that because they have designed this grinder around a certain set of burrs and they feel like they've made the best choice. And I have to say, the coffee is really good. One small thing that I've never loved about the Zero and is also true on the Duo is the absence of a knocker or something to blow the last little bit of beans through. And I think this is almost because of how other grinders have trained me to interact with grinders because even when you're using it, you get out basically exactly what you put in. So it doesn't really even seem like it's that necessary. And let me be honest, if I take off my coffee reviewer hat and I put on my dad hat, when I stumble out of my bedroom first thing in the morning and the kids are going crazy and all I want is a cup of coffee, I don't care that much about less than a 10th of a gram to add a whole other part to something. I like the simplicity. If you really want to get that last little bit out, you can usually get it out either by like rocking the grinder, lifting the lid, or if you want to go really crazy with it, I'm sure there'll be some aftermarket gizmos that you can get to do that as well, but it doesn't really even need it. Niche has rather ruthlessly made design decisions to maximize the simplicity, workflow, precision, and quality of coffee with the Duo. The tolerances are crazy tight inside, the retention is really low, it's easy and 
fun to use and totally intuitive. Not to mention the coffee is <laughs> really, really good as well. It's expensive, but it still is a somewhat affordable package. Niche has really crammed a lot of stuff into the Duo for the price that it is. Now, as with any new product, longevity is something that is proven out in the long term, but I think the track record that Niche has with the Zero does speak to something. It's not really prone to failure, and they've taken all their learnings over several years and dumped it into this grinder. I did run some stress tests, though, and this is pretty crazy. It didn't really struggle with light roasts at all, even grinding very fine for espresso, so eventually I just started dumping green coffee into there, which is absolutely absurd. You would never do that with a grinder. And I honestly didn't even know what would happen when I turned the grinder on, but it just chewed through it without almost any issue at all. And I tried it on other 83 millimeter grinders and they didn't even start grinding. It really seems like Niche has gone over and above with the drivetrain motor combination in this grinder. So even with the cons, they're pretty minimal and almost more like you need to choose what is right for you. So by this point, I'm sure you're asking, is the Duo for me? Or maybe you're asking, should I buy the Zero or the Duo? Well, let me first say that both the Duo and the Zero are single dosing grinders. You need to weigh out or set aside every serving of beans right before you are getting ready to use it. If you want to dump a bag of beans into a grinder and forget about it, you should consider a hopper style grinder. Between the Zero and the Duo, there are taste differences for sure. I'm gonna make a couple generalizations here. Generally, conical grinders will give you more chocolatey taste tasting coffees, whereas flat burr grinders will give you clearer, more bright coffees. That's a real generalization. I've enjoyed the scope of both coffees on both grinders. Now, if you're really put off by this business of two burrs, one for filter, one for espresso, just leave one in the case or buy something else. If simplicity and convenience are your thing, try out the zero or try out another grinder. On the other hand, if you're someone who is always chasing that extra little bit of quality of precision out of your cups, or maybe you love that flat burr taste profile or the idea of putting a bigger burr to use. If this two burr thing doesn't freak you out, then I have to tell you, even if it does, this is a incredible grinder. I've really enjoyed using it and you're probably gonna see me continue to use it for some time. Now, if this video has been at all helpful for you, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel so that we can see each other again. And I wanna hear from you. Do you actually like the tuber thing or do you think it's a bit of a silly decision by niche? Would you like to see a comparison between the Zero and the Duo? or between the Duo and another grinder? Or did I maybe not answer a question that you had about this grinder? Drop it down in the comments. I try and respond to each and every single comment and I would love to chat with you. Until next time, cheers.